All new at five, time is running out to stop a loophole in Florida's sexual assault law. Right now, if the accused did not provide drugs or alcohol to the incapacitated victim, he or she is given a lesser charge. With just four days left to the session now, it looks like that law and the loophole will stand. News 6 investigator Mike Holfeld has the latest. It's not a matter of he said, she said, because we couldn't say. For Kat Dusterhouse, the fight to erase the current loophole in Florida's sexual assault law is personal. She was just 14 when she was sexually assaulted at a party after having too much to drink. I am just so frustrated and baffled as to why it's not moved forward in the House. That's the plot twist. Charles Brannon, chair of the House Criminal Justice Public Safety Subcommittee, never scheduled the bill for a hearing. Offenders who take advantage of someone's incapacitation, whether they caused it or not, should be held accountable. Last week, State Senator Linda Stewart saw her Senate Bill 868 pass unanimously on the Senate floor. Uh, announce the result. 38 yeas, zero nays. The comparable House version, sponsored by Representative Emily Slosberg, never voted on. Essentially, it's dead. This is so important because so many of us have been denied justice due to this being a he said, she said thing. As News 6 first reported, the key is the wording, alcohol or drugs administered without his or her consent. That phrase is considered a potential loophole. If you're not forced to ingest the drugs or alcohol, the accused would face a lesser charge. It's a nonpartisan issue. I don't understand what's happening here. We're still working it. There has been talk of getting a House vote on the language already approved by the Senate, but even Stewart isn't optimistic about that. I'll be very disappointed if this doesn't go this year and we'll have to file it again next year. It's just one more year where people have to suffer uh, through indiscretions such as rape. News 6 has made several attempts to contact Representative Brannon, but he continues to be silent. We can tell you the Senate version of the bill was sent to the House for consideration, but our sources in Tallahassee are telling us it's highly unlikely it will be voted on. The session ends Friday. Mike Holfeld getting results, News 6.